A conclusive link between Zika and babies born with serious brain deformities has been known for months, but there's still no treatment. The mosquito-borne disease is particularly prevalent in Latin America. There have been thousands of cases of Zika in Brazil since it was detected there more than a year ago. And many other people in regions from Argentina to Costa Rica, the United States to Vietnam, have also been infected. The World Health Organization says as of mid-June, there were 60 countries with outbreaks. A number of countries have introduced travel advisories on parts of South America for pregnant women. Many of those countries have stepped up prevention, clearing stagnant water to stop mosquitoes breeding and fumigating against the insects. There have been calls from some high-profile scientists to cancel or delay the Olympic Games from Brazil this summer because of the threat of Zika. A fast test for Zika has been created and is being used in Brazil. But what people need to be safe is foolproof protection. A number of drug companies are trying to develop a vaccine. And the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has just allowed one to begin clinical trials. The initial testing for any vaccine or any drug is just to make sure that that drug or a vaccine is safe in people. Once you've tested that, then you can move on to determining whether or not the uh, vaccine can actually prevent infection for Zika. The trials are due to begin in a few weeks and initial results are expected later in the year. But it may yet be some time before a commercially viable Zika vaccine is available. It can't come soon enough for people whose children could be seriously ill because of Zika. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.